so how are you feeling? Good, thanks. Yeah. When the, when, once the drip gets going, you might, the contractions will start quite softly and then they'll build up so it'll get a little bit stronger. All right, so it, it gets quite a gradual process. All right. Oh, I can feel one now, actually. It's having a little one. So it's already starting to kick in a little bit. That's really good. So you're reacting quite well to it. All right, it's just dying down now. Very good. So when you get it, make sure you breathe in and breathe out. So make sure your baby gets lots of oxygen. A midwife looks after um, women in pregnancy, labour, birth and uh, postnatally and uh, early parenthood. That's really good. We're the practitioners of um, all the normal um, pregnancy, labour and birth. Usually there's not a problem with things. Very seldom we need to refer to a doctor if there's some um, medical complications. What I'll do, I'll just see where the baby's lying, okay, and then we'll have a listen in. All right, I just need you to just bring your T-shirt up, that's it. Great. Midwifery sometimes seen as a nursing branch here rather than a, a profession in its own right. Because midwifery is very different from nursing. We're, we're looking after well women. Nursing is very much based on the medical model. You're looking after patients. Who are ill. Who are Whereas Ill. we're looking after women who are going through a normal event of life. Pregnancy and birth is a normal is a normal process, so we look after well women. Also, many of us aren't nurses, so many of us are trained as, as midwives. So thanks for all coming along today. My name's Vanessa, I'm one of the midwives here, um, and I'm just sort of going to do a little bit of, ses uh, a little bit of a session um, about um, the early sort of postnatal days, yeah, and um, some of the things that you sort of might come across in the first few days with your babies. Midwifery in Australia is different to midwifery in the UK, you know, particularly in, in the public. You know, I could say to anyone at home that I was a midwife and everyone would know instantly what I did and, and you know, what my job was. In Australia, there isn't this. There isn't a lot of awareness. It, it's isn't that just a different type of nurse? But things are really changing, and it is very much a, an emerging profession. And the profession's really sort of um, come a long way in the last ten years, and I think it's got even further to go in the next ten years. I think a lot of it, though, depends on where you work. Um, there is lots of different ways that you can sort of practice um, in Australia. Certainly, the rural scenarios are very, very different to the um, to the urban ones, um, where midwives are having to work in sort of lots of different disciplines. You know, if they're in a small country hospital, and that's certainly something that's been it's quite alien to us coming from the UK where you're just so overpopulated that you know you have these very um, small hospitals with maybe 25 beds for the whole hospital so I think you know midwifery provision in those areas will be very different to working um, in an urban area just the importance of, um, of doing the exercises on a regular basis here where we work mm -hmm. we are you know quite autonomous and so yeah. the practice is more like our practice would be in the UK. So how's it going? Well, like you're doing a good job there. Yeah yeah it's good. A bit used to it now. Good, <laughs> good. And you've been storing your breast milk have you in the fridge? Yeah. Fridge or freezer. Yeah. But I've got some in the freezer as well. Great. And how about the latching on? Has the baby been latching on here? He's good. He's good. He does um, about a 20 minute suck. Okay. Like when, he, when he attaches, no yeah. problem, and he goes for about 20 minutes. Not right. Full on. Okay. The one thing that sort of really sets sets I think for me Australia um, apart from from the UK is just the amazing breastfeeding rates that we have here. But your milk supply is pretty good. I'm so impressed with the midwives how they promote it. I hardly ever see a bottle fed baby in this unit. Hardly ever. Probably only seen it once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, which I just think is fabulous. So really work hard at that. It's one of the biggest things on the postnatal ward is to get a baby breastfeeding successfully. Um, you know, there is a very, very strong breastfeeding culture. And there's this real sort of push and, and real passion uh, from the midwives to actually um, promote and, and sustain breastfeeding. This pressure that the pelvic floor exerts on the baby's head causes the baby's head to sort of rotate slightly. So as the baby starts to come up, you can see this bit here is just the back of the baby's head here, yeah? And this is the bit that you want presenting because you see it's a nice even round shape, yeah? If you take out just the fact that the lifestyle is so much better than being at home, uh, for, for me, it's the career opportunities. Midwifery is a very evolving profession at the moment and there are a lot of things going on and you are able to be involved sort of on all sorts of different levels in that sort of, in that change and that's something that 
I wouldn't have been able to do uh, at home. I think it's probably at quite a turning point and I think it probably will be for the next maybe 10 years. So that's a big plus from where I'm standing. And I think there are more opportunities to get involved in just the, the direction that midwifery is going. I, I'm much more able to get involved in things like the Midwives Association um, that I wouldn't really necessarily have got involved in in the, in the UK. It's a much smaller um, um, it's a much smaller group of, of people, but they're all very, very welcoming and they're very interested in, in your experiences um, from, from the UK. Hello there. I'll just have a quick look at the cord first. All right, make sure everything's okay. That looks beautiful and clean. So now we don't, you can just wash the baby as normal in the bath. You don't need to use any special soap or anything on the cord. And about day three, day four, we can take the clamp off. Midwifery as a profession is really starting to develop itself as a separate pro profession here. And it's really starting to become exciting. I think there's a lot of um, opportunity for midwives to get involved in that and to really promote midwifery as a, as a profession in its own right, um, as opposed to a nursing branch. So yeah, that's the biggest opportunity that we've got here at the moment. Mm -hmm.